and welcome to Fingers on Plastic. I'm Little Dave, and this is the Masters of the Universe Origins line, He-Man. So yeah, this is a, one of the brand new releases um, from Mattel, as they've relaunched the Masters of the Universe line. Um, yes, over the last probably 20 years or so, there has been collections out there, but they've been designed to be obviously sold more to the classic collector um, rather than a sort of mass market toy product. Um, obviously this is like a brand new relaunch uh, where they will, well you will see them, I don't know how much in the UK but definitely in America you'll see them on store shelves everywhere hopefully. Um, currently in America they're exclusive to Walmart until the end of the year and then other shops will get them eventually. Um, I got this one from Amazon. Um, there is a few other places slowly getting them. Kapow had a set of the first four figures in this week. Um, I didn't want that for the reason is I didn't want a couple of the figures in there. So I bought this one from Amazon. And I've got a few more on order. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so. I'll have a few different ones to review. I did pick up Battle Cat. That's his box there. I'm going to review him shortly. Um... I did a little unboxing of that, but I haven't actually reviewed the figure yet, so I'll do that shortly as well. But that one did come from Kapow about a month or so back. But yeah, this is him. Um, forgive me, I'm not using my light box today. Simon will probably kill me because he's always wanting me to use that. Um, but I thought, seeing as though I'm doing it quickly, it'll be easier to do it on my phone like this. So here he is. Um, obviously the classic style packaging. Uh, a bit like what Super 7 did with the retro line. Uh, I noticed... I don't know if this is a foreign language packaging for the Europe or for somewhere else. Uh, I know the ones what I've seen advertised from Walmart have um, new for 2020 normally on there. Whereas this guy doesn't. Um, yes, my packaging is a bit bent because Amazon's uh, out of packaging is useless. But I'm not a mint on Carder, so he will be coming out anyway. So we'll have a quick look at the figure. There he is. Yeah, so obviously the style of this. Um, it's like an update of the original sort of classic look toy. I will compare him to original He-Man shortly as you can see. But obviously a lot of the detail is there from that. Have a quick look on the back of the box. Updated artwork, um, but very much sort of traditional style packaging for a Masters of the Universe figure. And I look at some of the first figures in the line. Right, I'm going to get him out of the packet and we'll have a look at him. So there we go, we've got him on out of his packaging now. And this is him. I really, really like this figure so far. Um, I like the new updated sculpt, definitely. Um, but I still feel there's a lot of the sort of classic style up there to him as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the rest of the line looks like. But so far from my first figure, I'm really happy with him. Right, well one of the things he does come with is he does come with a mini comic. And unlike the Super 7 one which was just a card, kind of showing you what he looked like in various forms. This is actually a real... A few pages long mini comic. Nice little artwork there. I believe there's, um, from what I've been seeing, I don't know if it'll be the same in all of them, but I believe there's like a chase variant for the comics. Um, I don't know if it'll be maybe a different cover or an actual different comic itself. But you never know, maybe I'll get one of those and we can have a look. And obviously at the back there, there's a look at some of the figures again. Right, let's get back to He-Man himself. So, now obviously unlike the classic ones, this guy does have articulation where he never had before. So he's now got bends at the elbows, uh, twists and things on his wrists there. His arms also go in and out, quite stiff joints as well which is nice, up and down. His head is on a ball joint, and you can pop his head off as well. I've seen videos where, oh, but to be fair, all these limbs will pop off quite easily, so you can swap parts out if you so want. 
Not something I'd do myself, but if you wanted to, you could do. Uh, waist swivel. No power punch this time. That's not a thing. It's all about posability. He's also got his legs out. Knee bends. Um, twists on the boot. And his ankles will move like that. And the old splits. So yeah, that's his updated articulation. Um, to be fair, from what I can tell, these are very, very similar. Or they are the same bodies they've used for the Masters of the WWE line, um, which still doesn't seem to be available in the UK. Uh, so it looks like I'll never get hold of an odd one or two of those. But yeah, I believe they use the same type of body and they've just obviously continued using it for the update of these Masters figures. So let's have a less, little better look at his detail. Um, face sculpt is rather nice very different from his sort of classic look but still kind of retains a bit of it I would say um, now this isn't like a filmation look this is they've gone for obviously the classic look of the toys not the cartoon so obviously the detailing on his harness is similar to the original toy line spinning around and have a look at the back yeah, the detailing continues there, and he's also got a little holster for weaponry, which is rather nice. Now, this doesn't come with a stand. I got this stand from buying something from eBay, which has come in quite handy, actually. However, it was, uh, thank you for sending a stand with whatever you sold me. Well, that was a nice touch. But yes, it has come in quite handy. Anyway, back to this figure. So, yeah. You can see there, I think one of the things they've done really, really nicely with these figures as well is the way they've kind of hidden the joints for the articulation. So from obviously this type of thing and the way you pose him, you can kind of hide them quite well. You know, there's not no sort of visible pins there, which I think is a great sort of look for a figure, especially when you're posing them. Well, that's great. Right, let's have a look at his accessories. I won't bother clipping them on. Might pause them at some point, take photos, but he comes with his standard shield, like all he may seem to do. Um, there, so he can grab it. Also, it clips onto his arm. Nice, quite a matte finish. A nice update of the shield. His battle axe. Again, another accessory he man's come with for many, many years. And his power sword. Uh, slightly different in shape and style to the original one, but again, we all know what this looks like. And also, as usual, well, not as usual, but like the classic toy line, it's only half of one. And yet, if you want the full power sword, like we've always said before, or if you, if you know the law from the toys, Skeletor does come with the other half. And whoever welds both sides together, or Gets both sides together, will weld uh, the power sword, which is the key to the power of Grayskull. I covered that in one of my other videos, uh, probably I think it was the Retro Super 7 one. But yes, I am hopefully getting Skeletor, so in a week or so's time hopefully I will be placing those together and we'll have a look what it looks like as one full sword. But yeah, there it is. So yeah, this is He-Man. So far I'm really, really impressed with this line from my first figure, I like him. Technically, he's not my first figure because I've got Battle Cat in there and Axe. He came first, but I don't know if you class him as a figure as such. Um, but yeah, one of the actual figures. For my first one, I'm really impressed with him. Uh, it's nice to see Masters of the Universe actually return to the toy shells rather than just being a sort of a adult collectible. Um, I do hope it takes off and does well for them. Um, we have two, I think it's two new seasons, or series I should say, coming next year from Netflix, including the Kevin Smith one, which I'm quite excited for. Again, I hopefully those will turn out to be really, really good. Um, so yeah, hopefully Masters of the Universe is going to be a thing that keeps popping up for everyone, we all start to enjoy it again. But yeah, I am impressed with this one, he's, he's really, really nice. Um, there is a slight variation on this one, I will, sorry, sidetracking a little bit here. He was released about a year ago in a Comic Con exclusive, and that one had some slight changes to this one. 
Um, they've updated the figure slightly since, but one of the things he did come with is, is, is it, like a classic head, which you could pop off and put on, so he looked a bit more like his classic look. Um, I do believe they are going to do a battle armor, um, sorry, battle armor He-Man figure at some point, and he will come with that interchangeable head. So if you're not happy with this one, you could pick that figure up at some point and swap them over and have more of a sort of classic look. Right, it's going to be a quick comparison time now with classic 80s E-Man side by side. Now, he is a hair taller, I would say, but I think a lot to do with that. Look how filthy he is. I need a wash. Um, <laughs> I think that what to do with that is the fact that you can straighten the legs on this guy so he's not as bow-legged as the, the original one. So they are really, really similar scale from what I gather. But I think that's why he has the appearance of being slightly taller. But as you can see, I think it's a nice sort of modern update to the classic line. It really has the feel of that. Um, kind of a more cartoony look, but not filmation look to him. But yeah, for the first figure from this line, I am impressed with him. I know I've said that countless times in this review, but I really am. And I can't wait to get hold of some more of these. I, I said I wasn't going to probably do it, but I folded and started anyway but yeah i am really impressed with him uh and hopefully over the next couple of weeks or so i'll have a few more figures but in the meantime i will be reviewing battle cat right thanks for watching i'll see you soon Fingers on plastic.